Hey guys, welcome to MNMM IELTS. Today's video is about a cue card. So what I've done is I've picked up a question, a cue card question. One of uh, the most repeated and I would say a favorite question that I've heard a lot of students have got uh, for their cue cards uh, for the IELTS speaking section. So what I thought was let us you know, make an answer for all of you to share it with all of you so that you get some idea as to how to tackle cue cards. You know, what are the things you need to keep in mind? How should you utilize your preparation time? How should you start, continue and then end your answer so that you can get a full score for your cue card? So let us get um, started. So first of all, let us look at this question that I have for you and then let us understand the meaning of this question so that when we understand the meaning of the question, we can easily deliver what is expected out of us. So the first thing is the question says describe a, a, which means singular, memorable holiday you had. So past tense, you've had a holiday already, it's done and then only one holiday and you have to describe about it. Every word is important. You have to understand every word because if you describe two, three holidays, again, you've not understood the question. Okay, then it says, when and where did you go? So you have to tell them, when did you go? Where did you go? Place and time. Who did you go with? So who was with you, your family or anyone with you? Okay. What did you do during the holiday? So maybe any activities or you've, you might have done anything, you know, barbecue, cooking, uh, anything you might have done, shopping, whatever you've done, you have to describe something over there. And why was it memorable to you? So now you have to give reasons why that specific trip was memorable to you. So there are a lot of questions you have. So what you have to do is in the preparation time of a minute that you get for your cue card, First of all, look at the question and just write down the dot points because you cannot write down your entire answer in that one minute. It is just not possible. But you have to make sure at the same time that you do not skip any part of it because let's say you skip the part, who did you go with? You will lose marks no matter. You might have given a perfect answer for the other questions, but you've missed something. So you will definitely lose some points for it. So we want to make sure that we make the most out of that preparation time and we jot down the points what we need to um, you know, speak what we need to deliver in terms of information. So what I would do is I would quickly write down the title as memorable holiday because that is a very attractive word. Then I would write down when and where. So when I would write down the time as in the date, time or whenever you month, maybe let's say, where did you go? The name of the place? Who did you go with? So I'll write down who with and then I'll write down friends, families, whatever you have in mind. Then what did you do during the holiday? You can then write down what and then some some activities. Let's say you've done some sports or some um, barbecue, some cooking, something like that. Shopping. Why was it memorable to you? So then why and then write down whatever makes you feel that this is the reason this specific trip was memorable for me. So now let us start our answer and see how to start answer and how to make sure that all the points are covered. So the first things first is Definitely, I want to start in the correct order. So I want to first describe when and where did you go? So that is my first point that I would like to express. So I would start by, I'd like to talk about a memorable holiday I had in New Zealand a couple of years ago. It was during the summer break and I decided to visit with two of my closest friends. We had been planning this trip for months, eager to explore the stunning landscapes and experience the adventurous activities New Zealand is famous for. Now, I always tell my students that if you get a question and you feel that you've experienced something that has been asked in the question in your real life, then try to speak it from the real life experience. Because when you talk about something that you've experienced in the past, you're more authentic, you're to the point, you're not beating around bush and you know what you're talking about. Because let's say, for example, you may have gone to any place for a holiday. Think about that time. What was your feeling? Who did you go with? What did you do? And that will just make your answer spontaneous. You'll be confident, you'll be energetic, you'll be clean and clear with your answers. And that just helps a lot. So I normally recommend students that if possible, speak from your personal experience. But if you feel that there's a question and you have had no personal experience um, regarding that question, then obviously you have to create an answer, which is fair. You don't need to have an experience for sure. 
you can create answers as well if you've not had an experience. So this is what I would say for my first part because I've covered when did I go a couple of years ago, with whom did I go, closest friends. That's fine. You don't need to give the names of the per name of people of with whom did you go. You can tell that you went there with your friends. That's totally fine. Now, what was the next part of the question? Let us understand that. Who did you go with is discussed. When and where did you go? So we've told them that we went to that we went to New Zealand. So where did you go is done? When a couple of years ago? So first three questions taken care. Next is what did you do during the holiday? Let us see what to say for that. So now during the holiday, now straight into the answer. We don't want to give them uh, data that is not needed. We just want to give them data that they have asked for. During the holiday, we embarked on a road trip across both the North and South Islands. We started in Auckland and made our way down to Queenstown, stopping at various points along the way. We hiked through lush rainforests, visited geothermal parks with bubbling mud pools, and even tried bungee jumping and skydiving, which were exhilarating experiences. So I have described everything that I could in that one sentence that one sentence tells everything where i went and what did i do and how was my experience exhilarating experience straight to the point and i'm only talking about my holiday i'm not talking about any other things because sometimes just because we want to showcase our vocabulary just because we want to show how sound knowledge we have for the language that we are talking in we would start talking something that we are not supposed to talk about and which is the most common reason that a lot of students struggle to get their scores. Don't do that. Stick to the point. Stick to your track. Now, the next question is, why was it memorable to you? So now I have to share my personal experience as like why this trip was memorable to me. What made this holiday truly memorable, again, straight to the point, was not just the breathtaking scenario or the adrenaline pumping activities, but the bond we strengthened as friends. So I have shared an experience that, okay, we've done this, we've done bungee jumping, we've done quite a few activities, hiking, everything is done. But according to me, what is memorable is my friendship is my friendship that got strengthened because of these activities that we did together because of the quality time that we've spent together. So I've given them a reason now. We laughed over our fears during skydiving, encouraged each other during challenging hikes and shared quiet moments enjoying the sunset over Lake Wakatipu. So this is a name of a place, okay? Now, in these cases, when you're taking name of a place, you have to make sure that you're able to speak those names clearly you if you feel that you went to a place and the names are too difficult to speak then don't attempt them because then you will hesitate a lot on speaking it will affect your fluency and your confidence as well so because you want to be clear confident energetic speak words that you're confident in speaking not necessarily that you have to speak exactly the same answer if you get this question i'm just here to give you some ideas, some basic strategies that this is how you need to tackle to the point, answer all the questions one by one, make sure that you, are, you, know, you stick to your track and you don't get lost because you want to deliver a lot of information and if possible, share from your personal experience so that it becomes more authentic, I would say. And at the end, it, it, I have written, it was a time of adventure, laughter and deep friendship that I'll cherish forever. So I've given them, in the end, I've given them reason as to why this trip is memorable for me. So the most important thing in cue card is, according to me, is to read the question, to understand every single word written in the question, to understand what is expected out of me, out of my answer, and to deliver exactly the same, nothing more or nothing less. And that's how you get your perfect desired band score. I, I hope that you, this video was helpful. If there's anything specific you're after in IELTS, feel free to put that in the comment section below. And we are more than happy to make videos on those topics so that we can help you in the best possible way. All the best.